Now, today we're going to actually just run a one sample t test in SPSS. As you can see, I already have a bunch of data entered. You can't see all of it, but we have we actually end up with 40 participants over here. Um, so it goes past this. But we just want to run a one sample t test and what we want to do, let's just compare our OWL exam score. Now this is from Harry Potter. If you haven't seen Harry Potter, an OWL um, is like an eye step test or something like that. It's it's just a test that that they take. It's a big exam. So these are just average or uh, scores on the exam for these particular people. Like participant one got a hundred percent, two got a ninety eight, um, nine got an eighty six, and so on. So we want to see if these or this sample is any different than a population. Now first we have to decide what we want the population to be uh, or what we think the population is actually so we would expect about a 75 percent average because that's a C. You would um, normally expect a C average on most things. So we would expect a 75 percent average and our null hypothesis would be that our sample uh, was no different than the population. Right, and our research hypothesis, or our alternative hypothesis, um, would be that there is a difference between these two, you know, the population and our sample. So, to run this test, all we have to do is go to Analyze, Compare Means, and One Sample T Test right here. Now, this box pops up, and all we have to do is take the variable we want because all of our variables are listed here. So the variable we want, and we move it over to our test variable box. Now we take this number right here, test value, and we're going to set it as 75 because that's what we expect our population average to be. So we want to test our sample against this test value of 75%. And then all we have to do is click OK and we get these results. Now this gives us our uh, number of participants which is in at 40. Um, our mean is 75.58 percent basically. Our standard deviation is about 15.28 and here's our t-test. Um, our t-observed is 0.238 with 39 degrees of freedom because we lost one degree of freedom and this is our p-value. SPSS doesn't call it p-value. They say sig which means significance level, right? And they always do two-tailed. They never do a one-tailed test so keep that in mind whenever you're doing any kind of uh, tests on SPSS. They, they're looking for two-tailed. And our p-value here is 0.813. Now we need 0.05 or less to reject the null. And we did not get that. We didn't even get close. So we fail to reject the null here. We cannot say that our sample is any different than the population. Had this been 0.05 or less, like 0.01 or something like that, it may say 0 0.000. If it had been less than 0.05, we could reject the null, but in this case we fail to reject the null. We cannot make any conclusions that our sample is any different than the population.